what is going on guys and welcome back to another video now in this video we're going to be talking about legit white hat ways of promoting cpa offers on facebook now facebook is is a really nice traffic source it has a lot of high quality traffic but unfortunately facebook is very very strict when it comes to affiliate marketing and especially CPA affiliate marketing. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you some very unique three ways of promoting uh, your favorite CPA offers in a very kind of white hat and legit way, all right? So first of all, check out this diagram right here. This is not the way you wanna promote this. Now, this is kind of a 50-50 method. You can kind of get away with this sometimes and sometimes, you know, this is not gonna work. And in 2018, 2019, 2017, this was working really well. But as we get into 2020, this is becoming harder and harder. And so typically this is kind of this direct linking approach, right? This is the lazy approach, is that we have the visitor here uh, he goes to an FB ad, the traffic source, and then he basically, uh, you're direct linking to a sweepstakes or a survey offer or something like that. And then they go and hopefully, you know, you get paid for it and, you know, they complete the action and hopefully you get, you get some kind of bounty for this. Now, this is the easiest and the simplest way. And this is a way that you typically do not want to do because it's, it's getting, you know, it's getting a lot trickier uh, in 2020. So, so you want to kind of shy away from this. And so I want to talk about three unique methods that uh, can definitely work. And these are the methods you want to talk about. All right. So the first method is is what I call really the kind of the authority site method, okay? And this is a system where you basically built out the site in the same niche as your uh, the offers you're trying to promote. So if you're promoting maybe uh, some kind of dating offers, you build out a dating site. If you're promoting uh, maybe some kind of a uh, business to business, uh, biz up kind of offer, then you build out uh, a more kind of a, a site oriented to people that are interested in making money. So maybe about building funnels, maybe about building a WordPress site, uh, maybe about you know drop shipping, affiliate marketing, anything like that. And in that site, you can pretty much, uh, let, let Imagine we have a site like this and you have an article about uh, some kind of, a, you know, a niche having to do with the offers you want to promote. So you can basically do whatever you want in this article. Uh, you have an article, you can link to an offer, you could link to an affiliate offer, you can link to a CPA offer. And then basically you go on Facebook and then you create a landing, you create a page uh, for this site. So I have a vlogging central uh, for this vlogging site. And basically, once you have the page, all you need to do is open that page. And so once we have the page open, you can basically uh, link to any article on that site and then you can boost this post. Or maybe you can even, you know, use the, the traditional ad approach. You can basically boost uh, the traffic to that particular article, right? And Facebook is totally fine with that uh, simply because this is a normal article. So imagine, uh, imagine we are promoting some kind of a sweepstakes uh, win a camera offer. So here I have a regular site, a regular kind of site about vlogging, about cameras, about uh, videography, photography, what what have you. And here I have some cameras article and I have a best, best Canon cameras with flip screen. And so somewhere in the middle, I might have, you know, a little, a little box or some kind of a panel where I'm basically recommending a camera a Canon camera giveaway. Okay, maybe there is some kind of offer with the Canon camera giveaway. And I have a uh, I have a banner here. Hey, do you want to win a Canon camera? Uh, the newest one, you know, a thousand dollar Canon camera or a fifteen hundred dollar Canon camera. Click here and you can enter. And it's it's buried buried inside the text. And Facebook is going to be totally okay with it. They're not going to you know not allow you to kind of boost this post just because you have some kind of a you know, an ad or a panel or a, or a CPA or an affiliate link. It's, it's absolutely fine. And the reason for that is that you're giving a lot of value, right? You're not direct linking. And so even if it's kind of obvious somewhere in the middle of the page, and I would probably recommend it making it somewhere towards the middle or towards the end, or maybe you can even have it here on the right hand side, some kind of a banner to your CPA offer. It's going to be absolutely fine because you're delivering a ton of value. 
right? I mean, who's uh, who's Facebook to say that this is not a regular ad and that you're just running regular like AdSense ads or anything like that? So that is absolutely fine. And this is a method that works perfectly well. It's completely white hat. It's completely legit. So all you need to do is basically build out the site in the same niche as the offers you're going to promote. And then, you know, once, once the pages, uh, you're going to also get organic traffic from Google, obviously, but it's not necessary. Uh, once you have the pages written out, you have the pages built out, you basically uh, create an ad somewhere, a panel, and then you can go on Facebook, create a page for it, right? And then you can basically uh, run some kind of a page likes campaign if you'd like, or you can even uh, boost that article directly. And that's, that's a really nice approach. So that's the first method of doing it. It's a completely legit whitehead method. The next method I want to talk about is creating a specific page uh, that's geared towards sweepstakes. So let's say you want to run, uh, run some kind of sweepstakes offers. And these are all kinds of sweepstakes offers. These are not uh, niche sweepstakes. They're, they could be iPhone 11 giveaway or a Samsung uh, phone giveaway or you know some something else giveaway. It doesn't really matter. It's going to be sweepstakes and giveaways. And that's all you want to do. And what, what you have to do is in that case, you basically create a page uh, about sweepstakes. So here we have a page sweepstakes advantage. And basically all this page does is it basically recommends and basically shares different sweepstakes from sweepstakes advantage. And Facebook is absolutely fine with this approach as well, because number one, it's targeted, right? If somebody joins this page, they know what they're getting into. They're not, you know, they're not going to be bombarded with you know, different kind of ads that they are not really interested in. Whereas when you create an ad and so people, you know, people that sign up with this and this page is, you know, fairly popular. It's been around for a while. It has 60,000 likes, uh, 58,000 followers. So it's, you know, it's a pretty, pretty popular page. And so this is a nice approach. And so the question remains is how do you build traffic to this page? And, and, the, and the way you build traffic to this page is you can run regular kind of page likes campaign. Uh, you can, you know, you can, you can do all kinds of methods. You can you can maybe have influencers shout out links to this page, but it's going to be a lot easier to actually build out this page first uh, using some kind of paid traffic you know, buying similar ads or maybe advertising it on similar websites or stuff like that, building out this page like you would build out any other page out there. And basically, and, and then you're going to be able to advertise any kind of sweepstakes you'd like, right? And you can create a niche page. Uh, so maybe you just want to talk about some kind of uh, mobile offers, right? Like iPhone, Samsung, or this could be something else. Maybe this could be gift cards, you know, Amazon, Target, Costco gift card or something like that. Basically go into your, you know, Max Bounty account or whichever CPA uh, network you use and basically check out some of the most popular offers. Maybe, you know, pizza, sweepstakes, it doesn't really matter. But the point is, and this is a, you know, a very legit way of doing it, right? And then you can probably, you know, once you have uh, enough likes, you can start collecting emails, you can maybe send them emails, you can maybe even boost uh, a certain post on this page and that's going to be absolutely fine. So the third way of doing it, and this is a really interesting way, is creating a Facebook group. Okay, so here we have a very, very nice group here with 10,000 likes, right? And this is giveaways and sweepstakes, okay? It's a legit group. They have some rules they're talking about. Here's uh, lucky sweeps. Here's somebody posting uh, a sweepstakes here. There's another one, uh, something else. And so the group is where, you know, people can come in and they could basically advertise something. And uh, you, can, you can create a group. You can, you know, you can put your own rules in that group. You can basically say, hey, you can advertise here. You cannot. And you can pretty much do whatever you want in this group, right? And the, the thing about the group is it's very similar to kind of creating a Facebook page in the sense that you're making very, very targeted information. People are going to join the group and you can you can con put controls, whether people can post something. You can also you can you can control what they can promote or if they could promote or not and, you know, do whatever you want. But the point is you're creating a targeted area, right? You're not just creating a random ad. You're basically, you know, if people join this group. Uh, then you know this is what they want to do. This is these. This is something they've chosen to do, and this is a really nice approach. And so the way you grow this group is is pretty much how you grow grow any other group, right? You can create a page, and then you can basically you know invite people from the page to the group, 
right? You can do that or you can, you know, maybe you can do some kind of advertising for the group. And that is something, you know, there's all kinds of methods for, for growing the group. But the point is, and this is very, very important when it comes to Facebook, is that Facebook doesn't really like or, I mean, it's cool with it, but it doesn't really prefer when you do something called direct marketing, right? Direct advertising, meaning like you create an ad and you're trying to get them to buy something. Facebook likes when people remain on their platform. It's like YouTube in a sense. YouTube likes when people stay on YouTube. Facebook likes when people stay on Facebook. So if you first, uh, let's say you have your personal Facebook account and you go out and, cre and you create a Facebook page and then you run a Facebook likes campaign to that page, uh, do all these things, you're spending all this money to grow that group and then Facebook is fine with it, right? Because you've grown that group, you're not directly advertising uh, to everybody. You're basically growing the group, you're growing the platform and then you can basically, you know, you have your targeted audience and you can advertise what they ask for. I mean, Facebook is not gonna go out and ban your group because you're advertising sweepstakes. Sweepstakes are fine when you are doing it in a controlled manner. So something like a Facebook page, Facebook group, uh, these these methods are absolutely fine. And, you know, once you build out your group, this is your own asset, right? This is absolutely your asset. What you're building out, you know, you're, you're getting people to come in and people would love to join this group, right? These are giveaways, sweepstakes. People would love to join and to, to try out these kinds of, uh, to, to see if they can win, right? And so, and, and the first method is a really legit method, right? This is where you built out the site and Facebook is fine with it, right? Because you're advertising the site. So what do all these three methods have in common? What they all have in common is that you're creating a platform. You're not just direct linking, right? You're not just going about it the lazy way. And this used to work a couple of years ago. Unfortunately, it doesn't work as well now. Your chances are like 50-50 that they might disapprove the ad or not like it or ask you to revise it or even even worse sometimes. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but that is because it's a very direct approach. You want to be a little bit more indirect, right? So creating a site, you're providing value to people, right? You're basically saying to them, hey, I wrote all this content. Here's what you can learn. Here's all this informational content. You can learn all this great stuff. Oh, by, oh and by the way, here's a link for a giveaway to this Canon camera or to this iPhone 11 uh, Pro Max or, you know, to something else, right? And then when you create a group, here's, hey, you know, you're building a community, people are staying on Facebook longer, and you're basically sharing content that people already are interested in. And when you're creating a page, it's, it's the same thing. And you can also boost uh, the page's post, you can grow your audience, and in this sense, Facebook is happy because you're getting people to stay inside their ecosystem. You're not direct linking somewhere, you know, uh, God knows where, where they go and they have to, you know, click through a, a bunch of pages. They have to fill out a bunch of information. And so somebody that was, you know, randomly browsing on Facebook, enjoying their, their time, just hanging out, seeing what their friends up to, all of a sudden they're gone, right? So Facebook is, it doesn't really, it doesn't want to lose people, right? So if you keep people longer on Facebook, it's going to be happy with it. So these are the three methods that you should try out. And, you know, hell, you can you can try all three of them and see which method works b best for you. Obviously, the you know, creating a, a like a sweepstakes page or some giveaways page is going to be quicker than creating an authority site where, you know, you're, you're building all kinds of pages and all of that. And so you can also create a group, which is, which is an excellent approach because you can also grow that group and get people inside that group. And also, you know, you can join other groups and then advertise your group. And then as, as your group is going to start to gain momentum, Facebook is going to basically advertise that group by itself by showing to others that, hey, uh, you know, you're, you're a member of this group, uh, you, you may also like these groups, right? So it's going to be like kind of suggested, like kind of uh, suggested videos on YouTube. And so there's a lot of opportunity here, right? There's a lot of opportunity for building out your base, for getting people to like, uh, you know, to, for getting people to, uh, for giving them value, uh, sweepstakes service and things like that. And that's always better than this kind of direct linking approach. 
All right, so that is something that I wanted to talk about today. I wanted to give you kind of these three unconventional ways. I guess the first way, this is something I talked about in the previous videos, but the method two and three, I haven't really talked about it yet. I've just seen other people do it. Not a lot of people are doing it. This is, you know, an interesting method. And so I definitely recommend you give it a shot. And as you know, Facebook is a very, very popular platform. But if you work with Facebook, instead of working against it, you're definitely going to have a lot more success you know, by, by getting people to stay on the platform instead of, you know, having them click on the link and basically get out as soon as possible. So that is kind of one I wanted to talk about today. I just wanted to share with you some more methods of advertising on Facebook without getting your account banned, without getting your business manager banned, without even getting your personal account banned, right? Nobody wants that. I mean, that's definitely like a business killer if that if that happens. And so now you have kind of these white hat ways, very legit, very cool ways of promoting these offers. And so everybody is happy. The people are happy that join kind of your community and Facebook is happy because you're you're getting people to stay longer on our platform. And so that is what I wanted to talk about today. If you enjoyed this video, definitely smash the like button. It really helps. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And if you want to see more videos about similar topics, about, you know, digital marketing, paid traffic, organic traffic, CPA, affiliate marketing, and everything like that, then definitely subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and you will be notified of future videos. All right, so thank you again so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.